Well, it's the last day. You know, I didn't do a day three vlog, but you get the last day vlog. And things have been interesting, like I've said the entire time. It's fun to walk around among the, the differences of, uh, of the furries. Um, it's a, a very different world. And uh, I got to know a couple of them. You know, I, I haven't really made too many friends. Like, uh, you know, I've, I've made everyone that's watching the videos a new friend. Uh, if, if you stick around the channel, I'm pretty sure I have something here that appeals to everyone. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of my shock content that's at the beginning of uh, this channel is a lot different than what most people here would probably be accustomed to. Um, I am very much in a different world and I have to say thank you for letting me be a part of that. Uh, it's not a it's not a normal thing for for me and I'm just glad that I've been able to do something different um, and it's made me reflect on a few things and realize I'm really missing my friends that have passed away um, because one of them would have been all over this, the other one not so much, but it still has made me realize that there is just a common camaraderie and uh, a value in friendship again. And uh, everyone around the channel, thank you very much. It's been it's been a pleasure doing these videos, um, even though it's it's not normal content. It's not normal content to the channel. Yes, we use a phoenix motif around the channel. Yes. I've used that almost all my life. I've used the Phoenix as part of uh, who I am since I was about 13 to 16 years old. You know, the name Cinder Shadow I, I created back when I was 13. The Phoenix was something that I grew up with. Uh, it was from my high, in from my elementary. And I've just stuck with it ever since. And it's just kind of something that's resonated at that point. So for me, it's been, uh, there's been a lot of soul searching and uh, it's a lot different in that sense. Now, the age old question, am I a furry? Is, is the question that I've been asked a few times here. And I would have to say, no, I'm just a tourist to the, uh, the whole fandom. And uh, I think I will always probably be a tourist to the fandom. Do I wanna make a fursuit? Would it be absolutely amazing to do that? Yes, it would. And if I, if given the chance to make a fursuit, I would. But I don't think I would still consider myself a furry at that point. I think I would just consider it as a creation and something uh, that's an extension of myself and what we've done here on the channel. You know, it, it's a lot of the, uh, a lot of the essences of what has happened here, what has transpired between between the the blurred reality of uh, the furry fandom, it's uh, it's something different altogether. And you know, I remember the days of playing Dungeons and Dragons, and it was it was at that time that I, we we still use the Phoenix and the character I created at that point, and I still use it today. And uh, that's the main difference out of all of this. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be out and do something different. And uh, I guess here's the next year. If I, if I do get sent here next year, if I do come, I don't know. Maybe I won't be invited back, but hopefully, hopefully they would uh, more than willingly have me back because I have to say the videos that I've been editing have been one of the one of the highlights of what I've been able to do. Um, the this type of video editing away from the commentary has been a much needed shift a much needed change in things that I haven't been able to do for quite some time. Uh, you know, I don't get out. Uh, I have to force myself out. I sit in front of a chair, but I would, this type of content is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it takes a lot of video. It takes a lot of time. It's going, I'm going to end up slow rolling videos out here for the next little while. And, uh, that's the way things go. Unfortunately, that's how uh, I have to do it. How it just goes along the whole road of a content creator at this point, especially one that puts everything that he can into his uh, into his work and into his channel. Um, it's been fun doing all the news videos for video games, but if if given the chance to do like conventions or 
or more comic book style stuff, more more cosplay stuff like Animathon or the Hampton Expo. Hell, it would be a pleasure to go to like San Diego Comic Con one day just to be able to do that and cover it and do the same thing that I did here where I get to where I get up close and personal with people that have created something amazing with their lives. Yeah, there's a lot of money behind it, but that's not the purpose of it. The purpose is that they're showing off the creation and creativity. They're showing off who they are and it's something completely different. As for the the fandom, yeah, I get it. The community is a trash fire. Um, I've seen the laugh. I've seen behind the veil. It's an absolute dumpster fire and a trash fire. And it's with, with all reason, but so was Animathon when it started. There, there was a dumpster fire of stuff when Animathon was started back at the level that this con is. You know, I think it's uh, AbsroCon with 16,000 people. I think I saw that online. This one's under 2,000. So the, the, there, there's a big difference from when you jump that level. And I don't know what Animathon is at now, but they're in multi multiple decades now for a, uh, a fandom of cosplay and things like that. And it's just great to see all around. Anyway, all this is this is the end of Furry. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm the proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow, signing off here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go.